guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Trisha and in today's video, I'm just gonna show you guys how I set up Oakley's new enclosure. I've already done a naturalistic background on it and I've had like other videos in the past showing how I was doing it, but I always kept her on paper towels because I've always been worried about impactions, especially ever since my Leechianus passed away, Booger, because she passed away very unexpectedly and I had just given her substrate and I just thought that that was maybe why she passed away. So I immediately took all of my geckos off of substrate and I was just keeping them on paper towels for the longest time. And I'm honestly just sick of it. I don't like how it looks and I just want all of my geckos to go bioactive. Um, it's going to be a little bit of a process with the enclosures I have stacked up there because they're all like a screen enclosure and there's nowhere that I can put substrate because it's literally just a screen that's like holding everything in. I mean, I have other upgrades in mind for those in the future, so that's all just going to be things that are to come, my plans for 2021. Um, but I'm starting off with Oakley because she's already in an 18 by 18 by 24. So I know I told you guys I'm only going to do one video a week, but I decided to just do an extra video this week because it's something I had to do. And I figured I would just film it and show you guys. So I hope that you guys enjoy the video. Thank you so much for being here and let's get into it. All right, guys. So in today's video, I'm going to be making Oakley bioactive for this enclosure. This is an 18 by 18 by 24 enclosure for my crusty gecko. And oh my God, she is like sleeping right there on the side of her lay box. And she just kind of looks a little insane. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, the paper towel sucks. It just looks horrible. You can see poop on it. It's not very clean. And I just really don't like how it looks. So I got some live plants and we're gonna try to spiff it up and just make it look better. So we're gonna take a look at what I ordered from Josh's Frogs. Excuse all of the moss on the floor. I had to take Bowie out this morning and you can thank her for the mess. So I still have to vacuum. And then I have a random food bowl because I just ordered more raw food for Chacho. And it was really cool because his food came with a free little bowl. So that's pretty awesome. I like free stuff. So we're gonna just take a look at some of the stuff that I ordered. Going bioactive is like very simple and basic. I don't really have anything special. I need to get more isopods. So right now I'm just basically using old springtails that I have laying somewhere. I'm not even sure where I put them, but this is the stuff that I'm going to be using, except for this. This is a random heat bulb that I just needed because Chancho's heat went out, so that's just for him. Although I replaced it with something else. He has um, the bulb that has UVB and heat in it right now. And it's giving him a little bit more UVB than his other one. So I kind of like this. So now I just have an extra heat bulb. But there's nothing wrong with that. So um, we're going to look at the rest of the stuff. So I got some mood moss. Um, I wanted to put this on top of the substrate just because I am very paranoid about impaction and I have not used substrate for my geckos in years. Like I've been doing paper towels for so long. It's super boring. I don't really like it. So I just want to be safe. And this is like basically like a pillow of moss and it's like very secure on there. So I'm thinking I'm just going to place that on top of the substrate just to avoid any potential impaction issues. Um, so yeah, that's just my little protective thing because I'm paranoid. Um, and then we have a couple of live plants here. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at them. So I'm not even sure what this plant is called and it's ridiculous because I've used this exact plant for so many enclosures now. Um, but it looks like it's in great condition. It's very beautiful. I have a couple of pockets that I have built into the background that I could use for plants. So I'm not really sure. I don't have a plan. I'm just going to wing it and see where I end up putting them. But this is the first one. And this is the second one. And this is so cute. It's a little baby snake plant. I don't think I've ever seen one this tiny. Um, but it's very durable. So that's why I like snake plants so much. They're so durable with any type of reptile. Um, and crested geckos are pretty, like, I don't know, Oakley's chunky. And she's just kind of clumsy. And I just don't want to get, like, a really delicate plant for her. So I think this will be fantastic. So, and again, it's in great condition. So very excited about it. So then the only other thing that I have left in my box besides paper is my favorite substrate, which is Josh's Frog's bio bedding. So this is the substrate that I'm going to be using for her enclosure. I only have one bag and that may not be enough, 
So we're going to see. I may end up having to just buy another bag, which is totally fine, but this is what I have for now. So something else that I'm adding to this enclosure is UVB. I actually want to give all of my geckos UVB in the future, so I'm starting with this one. Um, so the very first thing that I have to do is to take this little munchkin out and just put her somewhere else. Yeah, hello, mama. Hello. So we'll just take this little potato mama out and put her in an enclosure. Well, not an enclosure, just like a little feeding tank thing. Um, she's like so alert right now. So just put her there. That way I can set up the whole enclosure and do everything I need to do. So she will not be needing a lay box anymore because she's just gonna have dirt on the bottom. Like this paper towel just looks awful. So I'm just gonna take everything out. There's really not that much down here. And then take the paper towel out and then just basically clean up the bottom and get all of the poop and the dirt. The other annoying thing with paper towels with a naturalistic background is that there's dirt on the background and then it just falls onto the paper towel so it just constantly looks dirty and just doesn't look good so it's another thing why i just really want to get rid of the paper towel so i'm just going to throw this out and then clean out the bottom and proceed and one other thing so for cleaning i use vinegar it's distilled white vinegar and water just like a tiny little splash of water um, it's reptile safe and it does a great job so for anyone that's curious that's what i'm going to be using today it's what i use in all of my enclosures Everything is cleaned out and just looks a little bit better. Um, so now I'm just going to start adding all of the substrate. I'm just going to dump this whole bag in because I'm going to have to use all of it. Um, and again, I may probably need more. I'm not using a drainage layer because this bio bedding actually has a drainage layer built into it. And I'm going to be adding more um, of these. I think it's charcoal for the springtails. So that also just helps with drainage as well. So that's just going to be in the substrate. As you can see it's a bit dusty so I'm gonna go ahead and spray it down and make sure that it's nice and moist and make sure it's not too wet you don't want it to be like sopping wet but you do want the substrate to be moist springtails. I'm just going to dump this whole thing in there with the charcoal. I've used half of it, so I think the other half will be perfect for this setup. The next step is going to be just putting the plants in. So I rooted the snake plant completely and rinsed it off. Um, the plants are safe for reptiles and they do not have any like pesticides or anything on it at Josh's Frogs, but it's best to just be safe and rinse it off anyway. So um, we're just gonna plant the snake plant, I think right up here. So I'm gonna make a little nook. And snake plants grow so well in enclosures and they're really easy to take care of. So it's definitely a plant that I highly recommend and they're durable. So they're perfect for enclosures. And I think that this fits perfectly right here and hopefully it'll grow and just get a lot bigger. So the next thing that I'm trying to decide, um, I think I kind of want to put the other plant in this nook over here because I don't have anything in there. So I left some of the soil, I left like all of the soil actually, um, in the little container just because I want it to have the soil. It'll be safe and away from Oakley. So because it's going to be in that little cup. 
So I'm just gonna put the whole plant in there and then maybe put some more substrate around it and then just try to like bury it. So yeah, that's my plan for this. So I just stuck it in. I'm gonna take a little bit of substrate. It's kind of hard to like film and show what I'm doing. And just kind of tuck it in because the little white things that are used in plant soil can be toxic to reptiles. That's why it's best to always root them. But this is going to be kind of like stashed away and hidden in here. And she's not going to dig this up. Like that's not something that she's known to do. If you want to be extra safe, you can just um, take all of it off and completely root the plant. Um, I think that this will be fine. So, and I like how that looks there. Like I was thinking of putting another live plant down here, but honestly, if I put it in the back corner, I don't think you'll really see it that well. And this thing comes forward a lot. So I don't know, I think I have an extra fake plant too. So maybe I'll just put this. I have another nook back here, but it's like so hidden that I don't think anything will really look good there. So I think I'm just gonna put this plant right here. And that's something. Now I'm just going to add some of my mood moss. I don't think I'm going to use all of this, but we'll just see what looks good. So now you guys are going to get to see like what the texture of this is like. Um, they come in like little pieces and it's literally just like a little pillow. So I'm just going to set them around, I think. And I don't know. I just want some of the dirt to be blocked. Honestly, I'm not too worried about impaction. Like impaction is known to happen if your animal has some type of health issue. So if you have a healthy animal, it's really not something that you're gonna have to worry about, but it's just better to be safe than sorry. So I kind of just wanna fill it out and I think it will actually look better and add a little enrichment too, just to have different textures and feels, you know, all the good stuff. So ooh, that's a nice and big one. I'll just put that there. The only thing that I'm gonna have to be cautious about because springtails really like moisture and when I spray the enclosure down, I don't just want the mood moss to get absorbed with the water and the moisture. So I'm gonna have to lift these up sometimes and make sure that the soil is really getting nice and moist too because the springtails definitely need the moisture. So, I think that that's good enough. There's a lot of different green in here. So the final thing that I'm gonna do is my favorite thing and that is leaf litter. Litter that I'm gonna use, this also came from Josh's Frogs. Um, it's just old, I've had it for a bit. So I just had it on hand and didn't need to order anymore. Just gonna take a handful of it and just toss it around the enclosure. Um, I will get isopods in the future for this enclosure. For now, I just only have the springtails. Um, but it'll definitely help with the bioactive to have some isopods as well. So yeah, I think that this looks pretty good. I think this looks way better than having paper towel for sure. Um, so for anyone that's curious about like how I did this and the background, I have videos on that in the past. So all of that's already done. I just needed to finish this enclosure off and make it bioactive, add some plants and just make it look better. So. I think it's about done. And I think that we can go ahead and add Oakley to it now and see how she likes it. And she is all fired up now. Hey babes, wanna go see your new enclosure? What do you think? Oh, she just wants to come to me. You have to go in your new enclosure. You gotta check it out. Here we go. Now you can finally get some UVB exposure. So the other thing that I need to be cautious about now that she's getting UVB is I just need to keep an eye on how often she's out actually basking and absorbing it. Um, because again, you don't want to overdo it with the D3 when you're supplementing with calcium. So I may take it down a notch and maybe not supplement with the D3 every single time. And I might do without D3 as well. So it's something for me to keep an eye on, but she looks so cute. So I think that she likes it. She has some new scents, new things to check out. And I think that just looks way better without paper towel. So this was a very basic set up kind of a boring video but i hope that you guys enjoyed it i just knew that i had to do this so i figured i would just turn it into a video since i've been really busy lately and not filming as much 
So yeah, here is Oakley's new setup. I hope that you guys enjoyed it.